Hi, welcome back to New Cool Things. Today we're going to be uh, working on a second video about the putting uh, technique. And I'm going to be working with Gabby today in uh, distance control. And we have everything laid down right now. And Gabby, what? Well, something that I want to say is like, if you're new to New Cool Things, you can check out more of our videos and you can have maybe even try some of our videos too and you can try out some of our putting videos golf videos and you can try them out and see how um, you get with your golf and these are like tips if you're like having trouble with these things okay good in our last video we saw how uh, we built the T and that's where our feet go and then we did where our arms go to the chest. Now we're going to put it down and then we're going to work in distance control. This is about the distance that I need for that type of putt. So I'm going to do it like a couple of times like this and then I'm going to move back and then I'm going to hit. Golf. So Gabby is going to try the T. Put the feet in your teeth, then lift your arms up, then put them down, and now she's going to try the distance that she wants to go. She's going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that means that her back swing is too long. Keep going, Gabby. Back and forth. That's going to give her the distance of her stroke. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so now move back a little bit. And now hit the ball, feeling that distance. Very good, Gabby. That was excellent. Tip number one. Your backswing and your follow through should be always the same length. That was one of the biggest mistakes I saw when I was on tour. Uh, I always saw the amateurs making a very short backswing and a long follow through, or the opposite, a very long backswing, a very short follow through, which meant that their distance control was really bad. So make sure you teach your kids good habits. Okay, so these are um, pain bottles that I have for my kids. I just figured that was something that I just could use. It was around the house. That way I don't have to spend uh, money doing that. And now uh, she's going to try it. As you can see, these bottles are further apart and these ones are further apart. So that way she can just increment her stroke and that way she starts getting a feel better for the distance. So now Gabby is going to do the second distance and then she's going to work hard like, yes, as she, yes, go like create a rhythm, Gabby. Yes, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Very nice, now go back and yes, now feel that, one, two. Very good, Gabby. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go to the other one. And she's going to start here, so that would be longer. And go again, back, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so Gabby and I, we're going to, to try the, the drill. Obviously, we're going to start from here and then go up and then go down again. Make sure that we are all square. And then we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And now she's going to try and hit a ball, feeling that good tempo. Okay, try Gabby. There you go. Very nice, Gabby. Was Tip number two. Remember to work on your kid's rhythm. One, two, one, two. No matter of the length of the putt. One of the biggest mistakes amateurs make is that they change the rhythm depending on the length. So if it's short, then they go very one, two. And then when it's long, because they want to hit it harder, they hit one, two, and they go really hard. So they have a really hard time controlling distance control. Remember, teach your kids good habits from the beginning. Okay, so Gabby, bend from your waist. And I'm going to show you how you can check if their eyes are actually on top or inside, so you put a ball here and then you drop it. So that means that Gabby's eyes are just a little bit on the inside, which that's what actually you want. And once you know that, so you know that your kid, the distance is right and that they're bending enough, and now they can just go ahead and do the stroke. Good job, baby. 
So I'm going to show you what uh, it looks when your eyes are outside of the ball, which that's not what you want. So you, she bends and her eyes are too far. So then when I put the ball, it lands outside. That's not what you want. We're gonna make sure that it's either on the ball or inside. That means that Gabby has to just move a little bit away and that way her eyes are online and she can actually see better her line and therefore she'll make uh, more pots. Tip number three. Remember in working in your kids' uh, eyes, you always want them to be either on top of the ball or inside of the ball. This is going to be uh, very important so they can always see their line. Uh, so make sure that their distance from the ball to their feet is always uh, very consistent. You can always just grab uh, a putter or a ruler and just make a mark. And that way when you're going to be putting with them, you can always just know what is the, the distance, the, the exact distance. That is how many uh, professional golfers uh, do it. Um, I hope that you like this three tip. Remember to like and subscribe to click on the post notification bell to be the first one to check out our new videos. And leave comments below about all the different topics that you would like us to actually uh, do videos about. And remember, try, try new cool things. Bye. Bye.